were boring me. And then, this is all layering. These were sort of forms, and then everything else is layering. It's all layering. Sorry, that's what. That's the best I could portray.
and dispersing into an array of colors that I think everyone can agree brings us such joy from a very young age. You know, you see a rainbow, and before you know it, it's still it's still a smile. It brings a smile to your face. Um, just like that, you know, we never we never stop and question. Uh, why does this prism act in this manner? What is the role of the light? What is the role of the prism? Uh, and what do you call this transformation? Is it, is it, uh, would you say it's corrupting the white light? Would you say it is adding value to it? Uh, and why is it doing it? What is its objective? And maybe the reality of the truth lies in the fact that it does because it is set in dharma, let's say, for the prism. Uh, an artist, in that sense, I think is very much like a prism. It does not transform with dishonesty. When you look at the rainbow, you don't forget that its origins are from that one white beam of light. Uh, and so, we are all here to shed or, or to put this budding artist in the limelight to to put him in the spotlight and maybe that helps him transform even further and and helps him bring out all of these wonderful pieces of art uh, in the future and there is no one better than three chief guests that we have today uh, to ignite that flame to give him that little light uh, that he requires to really uh, transform himself and continue to act as a prism for all of us to experience the world in the same reality but with a little more color. So if I can with that invite our first chief guest, uh, Mr. Kambada. Uh, he's been a dear dear friend. So, coming to the show, I, besides working since the past 41 years in sculpture, untrained, self taught, everything, I can very well relate to what is out here. I can really, very well relate to what Dharmesh uh, said, what you are. Sorry, Kushal said, and I think it's wonderful that you have done this. You have made a collection, that's what I did. I started working from scratch, and then you slowly realize that you have got something out of your system, which is what has happened here. Your works are prolific, I can see every subject, I can see every color. There are monotones to places where you splash the color, where you've got form heavy, where you've got sort of uh, in your terms of your words and all that. That, by the way, is such a touching piece. I just went through it. That is really moving. You also have a look at it closer if you're not. And I had worked with him before, and I saw where he started from and how his journey has gone. And to me, like Ranjan said, what he has produced, put that aside, even without looking at it, looking at it, or just judging it. It is your journey which comes, and you had tremendous fun doing this, and which is what makes you an artist first. Okay, that is that is one solid point. And. If you want me to say which is the best one, the one which I pointed out there, that figure there. And I know that you're experimenting, you're putting things out, and as you go on, you'll only get better because I can see you're passionate about it, and that's the only way to go. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Kambata. Those were incredible words and such valuable encouragement. Uh, for Prithveer. Uh, I'd now like to call upon uh, Hafiz sir, uh, stalwart of the real estate industry, uh, guide and mentor to us all. Um, it means so much to you here today.
you may get into fashion, you may get into building, you may do anything. It's finally going to reflect and make that other profession more sustainable. So it's very nice if uh, after a few years you may join your father, but then you tell your father, that you like this, you like this. <laughs> Congratulations and uh, whatever I see, it's, uh, it's very nice and I think taking out time and doing all that at your age, unless you might be doing something else also. So, so, so congratulate you and keep it up. But the world is very big, you can do many, many things. In a certain capacity and uh, has given to three valuable guidance as well. And so, uh, with, that, with that, I'd like to call upon uh, Raju Ankar, uh, Mr. Rajkumar Hirani, to give Woo! us uh, a I'll need a mic because <laughs> with my wife around, I can't hear you. <laughs> Priti, come here. You know, can you guess how old is this guy? <laughs> Family will know, but others don't know. <laughs> He's turned 70 today. He was all of 16 till yesterday. And at 16, 17, he's got 25 paintings hanging out here. I was just trying to go into a flashback and trying to recall what was I doing at 16. <laughs> all I can remember was I was trying to possibly prepare for my board exams and nothing else. So first, hats off for you to make 25 paintings and have an exhibition here. It's really, really, it shows, you know, uh, where your interests lie and how you utilize your time so well. I had asked him the other day, uh, what do you paint? What kind of things you like to paint? And he said, he said, Uncle, come there and let my painting speak to you. <laughs> you know, like a true painter. <laughs> so when I'm seeing, I'm actually trying to see what, you know, with a painter, I think it's what state of mind are you in that particular day? When you pick up a paintbrush, you know, and dip it into your soul and put that on the canvas. You know, it's, painters are like philosophers, poets, and So, so keep sculpting, keep painting, keep doing all this stuff. Keep your, keep getting your thoughts out. And a big hats off to Dharmesh and Mehek, uh, who've been extremely supportive. You know, anybody, anybody else possibly could have told him, board ke exam mein pending karne tujhe. You know, chalo chalo exam ke paper ko. So, it's hats off to Dharmesh to encourage him so much. <laughs> Dharmesh could have also misunderstood this whole thing and said, painting kani hai? Asian paints. Ye So, I'm glad you understood him right. This exhibition is happening. And Mahat Mehak is a, I think I have a wonderful sister out there. I love this girl. She's, she's so quietly, she plows and plows and you know, make sure. I don't think she's quiet. <laughs> Every sibling speaks like that. So, thanks for having all of us here. It's so wonderful to see. It's very encouraging to see this. And uh, we keep doing more stuff. I hope we can see more paintings next year. Keep going, keep working hard. And thank you for having all of us here. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm very thankful for that and I just want to say that every piece here is an extension of myself in some way or the other than something I am going to do. So please enjoy that and I think, you know, have a great evening. Thank you so much. Everyone look take up.